Uh, Duluth Aerial Bridge, uh, James Sullivan. Okay, the Delaware side of the Dario Bridge Cap, clear and traffic now, should be out of your way here shortly. Arriving in the Duluth Ship Canal is the Honorable James L. Oberstar. She was built as the Shenango II in 1959 by the American Shipbuilding Company of Lorraine, Ohio. She measures 806 feet in length, 75 feet in width, and 37 feet in depth. She is powered by two 4,100 horsepower, six-cylinder Bergen's Rolls-Royce diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 15 knots, or about 17 miles per hour. She's also equipped with balanced stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Oberstar has 24 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 48 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 31,000 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Honorable James L. Oberstar is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. The Oberstar is named in honor of a former U.S. representative from Minnesota who promoted the Great Lake shipping industry. Originally operated by the Shenango Furnace Com Company and supporting a emerald green paint job, she was bought by Interlake Steamship in 1967. To keep her modern and efficient, she was lengthened by 96 feet in 1972 and converted to a self unloader in 1981 by Fraser Shipyards here in Superior and upgraded from a steam to diesel engines in 2008 in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She was christened here with her current name in Duluth in 2011. Today the Overstar is bringing in a load of limestone and she's going to unload at Greymont. <laughs>